Let's talk about using the new Confluence Whiteboards feature in Jira together. I'm going to be presenting a use case for how I would use this in a real world business situation. And hopefully you can learn from this and also implement it in your day to day lives in your work. How does your team articulate their thoughts and ideas? Did you know that a picture is worth a thousand words? Let me introduce you to our exclusive sponsor for our Confluence videos, Gliffy. With Gliffy for Confluence, you can effortlessly create stunning flowcharts, mind maps, wireframes, and so much more, all directly from within Confluence itself. No more jumping to a different application or dealing with clunky integrations. Check out the link in the description below and start a free trial of Gliffy today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, in order to do this, we're going to start off with the completely blank Confluence whiteboard. I'm not going to be picking any of the templates because I just want a completely blank canvas because I'm going to be walking you through my thought process and the way that I actually use this functionality with my teams. Now, this is going to be perfect if you're a scrum master or a product owner or really somebody who's in a position that they just want to articulate their thoughts and ideas in a diagram in some sort of a visual way and also make this very tight integration into Jira. Because the purpose here is I want to create these, these images that basically help me articulate a process, a method, um, a, a use case, a sequence, right? Something that basically tells your team some order of operations, some visual way to represent tasks. Because a picture is worth a thousand words and there's a lot of value in being able to visualize roadblocks and being able to visualize different paths that different tasks and, and responsibilities for your team can take. So that's one way, right? So that's going to be kind of like first half of this video. But the second half, which is really the important part is those things, those, those tasks, those activities that we're capturing inside of the whiteboard, inside of this diagram that we're going to be building, they ultimately need to make it over to Jira. Because inside of Jira, that's where your team's going to then plan the work. That's where they're going to then update the statuses as something makes it into their sprints or their boards. And they're going to be updating over there. But because you don't want to double dip, you don't want to pull your team on, hey, did you update Jira? And then you don't want to come over here and update the basically the tasks that were captured in this very visual manner. You don't want to be basically double taxing the team. So because of the tight integration between the Confluence whiteboards and Jira, I'm going to show you essentially how you can get away with having this really, really neat interface where you can visually articulate the work and also have Jira do all the heavy lifting with respect to maintaining the statuses. So let's take a look at how to do this. I am in a completely blank whiteboard. And to do this is really, really simple. I am simply going to pick a shape and I'm going to pick a square because this is really ultimately what I want to do. Now, for simplicity's sake, I am not going to give this any fill. We're just going to leave it white. And inside of it, I'm going to start typing in things. Now, this technique is a little interesting. And so essentially, all I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a path of all the steps that need to happen in order for me to like unblock something. So let's just say that we are blocked on trying to deploy a new website for our business, right? So I'm going to work backwards. So deploy website for business. And that is a story that I'm going to put over here. Now I'm again, I'm going to be sitting with my team and we're going to be brainstorming here. We're going to be creating this environment where we ask, okay, so to deploy the website, what needs to happen? Well, the website needs to be completed. Okay. And that's just from like the UI perspective. But we also need, similarly, we need an entire backend, right? Database needs to be deployed as well, okay? And again, what you capture here is not as important, but what I want you to think about is you're essentially trying to, in a very visual way, figure out, okay, what are the steps to deploy this business, right? So we need an about page created, and let's just say we want a shopping cart as well. So we're going to do this and this one I'm going to do shopping cart. Okay. And then down here for the shopping cart section, we're going to deploy a um, 
shopping cart API. Okay. Again, it doesn't really matter what I'm putting here. All that matters is that these are things allegedly that are required in order for us to finally get there. Now, what's really cool about this is I can change the color of these to like be green, to be red, to be whatever statuses I want to represent, but that's very manual work, right? That is going to be some work that is going to require me to ask my teams, hey, what's going on? So I don't really want to do that. So rather what I want to do is I just want to connect these together. And so I'm just going to connect all of these uh, steps together so you can kind of see how they depend on each other to ultimately deliver this final deliverable. Are you struggling to get your points across in a meeting? Have you tried showing your team a diagram instead? Glippy makes intuitive drag and drop diagramming software that helps teams of all types collaborate more effectively. Glippy's deep integrations with Confluence and Jira make it the leading Atlassian diagramming tool, allowing users to create everything from technical diagrams, describing software architecture, to basic mind maps to capture ideas. Give our friends over at Glippy some love and start a free trial using the link in the description down below. Now, what I'm also realizing is that having a completely no border or anything color is not the best. So I'm actually going to change these all real quickly to this light gray so that you can see the square a little bit better because I'm realizing that just white is making it a little challenging to see. So I'm just doing a little cosmetic update, nothing that you have to do yourself. Now, now that we've established this diagram though, right, we kind of have, again, this, this is a very bad example, but the point is we now have in a very visual way, some of the steps, some of the things that need to happen in order for this deployment of this website to come to fruition. And now this is where the magic's gonna happen. Now this is where we're gonna connect to Jira. Because typically what you would do is you would take, okay, we understand that these all need to happen. We would go to open up Jira and then we would recreate and hopefully fingers crossed, not put any typos, not introduce any, any uh, assumptions or whatever, right? It's a little bit more error prone when you got to go into Jira and then now you got two things side to side. It's just the whole thing, right? But rather than doing all that, all we got to do is select this item and click on this create a Jira issue. Now keep in mind that this is a feature that is built into the whiteboards capability. And when I first saw this at Team 23, my mouth just completely hit the floor because this is really, really powerful. Check this out. So you are going to click on this create an issue. It's going to ask you which instance of Jira you're going to want to do this in. So if you have multiple, you'll pick the right one. Then you're going to pick the project. I'm just going to put it here. Then you're going to pick your issue type. This is going to be a story. And then you're going to give it the title. Now the summary, again, this is doing it all for you. So it's going to grab whatever's on that sticky part, right? So it's just going to put it in there. This is great. And most importantly, you can assign it to somebody as well. You could also have the option to show a couple more fields. So this is going to go and grab all the other fields that are available for this particular issue type in this particular project. A little optional. I recommend that if you're in a hurry and you're just in the heat of the moment, capture the name, capture who's responsible for it, maybe the due date, but if you have time, then go and do the rest, right? So you can say, hey, this is due on this day and you can fill out the rest if you want to or not. So once you have that, all you now need to do is hit that create button and Jira's automatically gonna go and create the issue. And most importantly, this thing that we created earlier has now become a basically a Jira card. And this is really where the magic's at because no longer do we have this square, but now we have this really cool UI that connects our dependencies of our tasks. So now we understand order of operation. So now when you go to plan your things in Jira, well, you have the order of operation because you know how they're related and which issue needs to come before the other. Because I can go as far as saying like, okay, so this one is basically this task, ACC9, has to happen before we start on these next ones. And now your team can visually see, oh, this is a precursor to anything on the right side of it. And if you needed to do like dependencies upon this one, then you can go to the left and further decompose going left. And it, again, it shows timeline and it shows order of operations. And it is a very great visual way for your team to understand this importance of the order of which these issues need to be completed in. Because if you just rely on Jira, yeah, you have your thing ranked, but it is an interesting way of looking at it because it's very, in Jira, it, it doesn't, you can't really articulate in a very visual way, like 
make sure you do this one and make sure you do this one, but these three can go together. Like that is kind of hard. But over here inside of Confluence, I can stack these together, right? I can do just creating these real quickly. I can stack these up and, and then my team can understand, okay, so I can work on these at the exact same time and then I'm gonna wanna work on these. And so your team can now fully or appreciate a little bit more of like, okay, what can we work in parallel? What needs to be in series, right? And so it, it makes communication of expectations so much simpler and I really, really love this functionality with the Confluence whiteboards. Now, if you're not trying this out yet, don't fret. I think this is something that does take some time to learn, but I've been basically managing my teams like this for like the last four years, and it's really, really effective because I can very easily, again, in a very brainstorming type of session, figure out what is it from all the stakeholders that are in the room, what needs to happen? And so we're just very visually connecting dependencies. This needs to happen first, and this, and then this, and then, and then we can go in and put it into Jira. Because now once it's all created, once we convert them all to Jira issues, we can click on them, be navigated to Jira. They're in our project, and now they're in our board, they're in a list view, they're in our backlog, and now we can do whatever we want with them. And it's really, really powerful stuff here. But as we update our statuses here, and I go back into my whiteboard, you'll notice that in here, I'm just gonna do a quick refresh. So the status that is in Jira is gonna be reflected here as well. As you can see by this edit video here, corresponds to the fact that this now ACC9 is in the status of edit video. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's just a little teaser. Hopefully it gets you a different way to think about how do you approach the challenge of having to track different types of work and managing dependencies, managing priorities. And I really, really love this visual way of just looking at everything in the whiteboard and easily, just a couple clicks of buttons, just super easily create the Jira issues and then be able to let your team be in Jira, let them still have the autonomy to self-organize, do whatever they want. But now they have this picture as a way to be inspired and, and understand what is the right order for these things to be built on and then they can go and do it uh, in their sprints and, and everything else from their agile methodologies. Is your team having a hard time collaborating? Then you need to try out Glippy for Confluence. Collaboration has never been easier. Glippy for Confluence allows your team to work together in real time, making edits, providing feedback, and driving productivity. Say goodbye to version control headaches and hello to seamless teamwork. Show our sponsor the power of the internet and start a free trial to Glippy for Confluence using the link in the description down below. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you smash the subscribe button. Keep in mind that this video is part of the Summer of Alaskan 2.0. We're at about 8,000 subscribers at this point and we are trying to get to 10,000. So if you're watching this video, you made it this far and you haven't smashed the subscribe button, make sure you take a second here to smash the subscribe button. Also check out the description down below for this video as there are links for all the different ways that you can support the channel. And if you found value in this video, make sure you drop a like and or comment on this video. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need